The film begins by showing an old priest named Tao, meditating on an island floating in the sky. While he was solemnly meditating, Priest Tao was startled by the fire that pounced on his face. Apparently, the fire came from the god form in the sky. The fire also fell like a meteor and hit a man named Xin Zhang, a man who was none other than the emperor of the Zhao dynasty. The appearance of the god form was also witnessed by the white-beard old man who was standing in the star tower. The man was advisor Wen, the leader of the Shan dynasty. Tao, Xin Zhang, and advisor Wen knew that the god form in the sky was a sign that the incarnation of General Singh would be born on earth, as well as a sign of the change of the ruling dynasty. Where at that time, the Shan dynasty, led by advisor Wen, was in power and happened to be on the verge of collapse, while the Zhao dynasty led by Xin Zhang, was growing bigger and bigger. In addition, General Singh will definitely choose his incarnation in the Bird Clan, because the Bird Clan has the power needed to open the god form, namely the Wing of Wind and Thunder. On that basis, Advisor Wen who was the leader of the ruling dynasty immediately ordered his troops to attack the Bird Clan settlements and kill all the Bird Clan people, so that the Shan dynasty he led would continue to prosper in China. As a result of the attack, all the citizens of the Bird Clan died, and their place was also destroyed, leaving only the man who was the leader of the Bird Clan and two baby boys. Knowing that he would soon die, the leader of the Bird Clan then handed over all the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder to one of the two twin baby boys so that General Singh's incarnation could be saved. Advisor Wen immediately killed the leader of the Bird Clan, and he also intended to kill the twin baby boys, but Tao appeared on time and immediately stopped his actions. A fight ensued between Tao and Advisor Wen. They fought fiercely to enter another dimension, but Wen was defeated and seriously injured in the fight and fled with his bodyguard. At the same time, Xin Zhang also arrived at the ruined Bird Clan settlement and found the two baby boys. Tao also returned to that place after the battle was over. Tao finally allowed Xin Zhang who intended to take care of the two baby boys, because one day, one of the two babies would become General Singh's incarnation. Xin Zhang also named the two baby boys twins, Xin Huan and Lie Zhen Zie. The scene changes to 18 years after the incident. A handsome young man, Lie Zhen Zie, was standing on the roof of a house. His action of wearing fake wings became a joke by his friends who were watching below, because it looked very ridiculous to them. Even so, Zhen Zie confidently said that he would fly. But unfortunately, his words did not match reality, Zhen Zie instead failed to fly and fell to the ground. The scene then moved, showing Xin Huan who had also grown into a handsome young man and with Zhen Zie. The two of them were meeting their father Xin Zhang. There was also a beautiful girl who was a disciple of Tao named Xin. Xin Zhang then conveyed the mission of Priest Tao to Xin Huan. Tao apparently told Xin Huan to go to Zhangnan Mountain to take General Singh's Golden Scepter. Xin Zhang continued to say that the Golden Scepter could only be taken by General Singh's incarnation, and that person was Xin Huan. Hearing this, Zhen Zie immediately stood up and said to Xin Zhang that he wanted to go along to accompany Xin Huan, as well as Xin, which in the end Xin Zhang allowed the two of them. The three of them started their journey. Zhen Zie seemed to always entertain Xin Huan and Xin with his silly actions and cheerful nature along the way, while his twin brother, Xin Huan, was seen as a more calm and quiet young man. Until finally they arrived at an old cemetery, then when they were about to walk, suddenly a wall appeared from the ground and blocked them. Zhen Zie stepped forward jokingly that he would destroy the wall, but Zhen Zie's words actually came true because the wall was completely destroyed, even with just one hit. And behind the wall, there is a statue holding the object they came there for, namely a golden scepter. Xin Huan then walked over to the statue and tried to lift the golden stick, but he bounced because it was repelled by the energy from the golden stick. Zhen Zie was curious and tried to lift it. Unexpectedly, the golden stick glowed when it was touched by him, and it turned out that it was Zhen Zie who was able to lift the golden stick. Zhen Zie then slammed the golden stick into the ground and made the golden stick light shoot into the sky. At the same time, Advisor Wen who was meditating, suddenly opened his eyes. He found out that General Singh's incarnation had taken the golden scepter, which meant the god form was about to happen. The scene then changed, showing Tao and Xin Zhang looking anxiously awaiting the return of Xin Huan and the others. Not long after, they were actually surprised, because it was not Xin Huan who carried the golden stick, but Zhen Zie, even though Xin Huan was the child they had thought of as the incarnation of General Singh. After that, Tao and Xin Zhang take Xin Huan to a dark forest. At that place, Priest Tao and Xin Zhang said that they both had misunderstood the previous incident when the leader of the Bird Clan channeled the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder to Xin Huan. Apparently, it was only a diversion, so that the incarnation of the real General Singh, namely Zhen Zie, was not killed. Priest Tao and Xin Zhang also conveyed their goal of bringing Xin Huan to the place, namely to sacrifice Xin Huan's life so that the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder could return to the incarnation of General Singh, so that Zhen Zie could open the God form. Xin Zhang also had tears in his eyes because he couldn't bear to kill Xin Huan, who he had cared for since he was a baby and considered him his own child. 
At the same time, Advisor Wen appeared at that place, then attacked Tao and Xin Zhang and took Xin Huan away from there. Advisor Wen apparently took Xin Huan to his birthplace, namely to the former Bird Clan settlement, which now only remains in ruins. There, he entered Xin Huan's subconscious and gave a shadow when his home was destroyed. Then he told Xin Huan that the one who killed all of his family in the Bird Clan was Xin Zhang, his foster father. Xin Huan looked very surprised and disappointed. Moreover, Xin Zhang and Tao intended to sacrifice his life, so Xin Huan was successfully instigated and decided to avenge his clan on Xin Zhang. Hearing this, Advisor Wen continued to say that he would be happy to help him awaken the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder, so that Xin Huan could become stronger. Elsewhere, Gen Zie is begging to be a disciple of Priest Tao, so that he can fight and save Xin Huan. Meanwhile in the Star Tower, Xin Huan was seen sitting cross-legged in a place called the God Destroyer form to train the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder, accompanied by Advisor Wen. Some time passed, Gen Zie and Xin were seen flying, carried by Tao to the Sky Island. Gen Zie's purpose in going there was to train with him. While practicing, Gen Zie received news that his father had been kidnapped by Xin Huan, so he intended to return to save his father, but Tao immediately forbade it. Tao said that it was very risky and dangerous, but Gen Zie still insisted on saving his father. Finally, Tao also gave the golden dragon fruit to Gen Zie. The fruit can give strength to him but will also determine his destiny later, so Gen Zie must use the power of the fruit at the right time. The scene then changes, showing Xin Zhang looking helpless when he is beaten by his adopted son, Xin Huan. When Xin Huan was about to finish off Xin Zhang, Gen Zie managed to come in time and threw his golden stick to keep Xin Huan away from Xin Zhang. At first, Gen Zie wanted to talk about it in a good way and persuade Xin Huan to return the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder to him. Unfortunately, Xin Huan who had been instigated by Advisor Wen, did not heed Gen Zie's words, so a fight broke out between the two twins. Not long after, Xin Huan managed to stab Gen Zie right in the chest, but Xin Huan didn't have the heart to kill Gen Zie, his twin brother, so Xin Huan finally chose to leave. The scene then moves to the roof of the Star Tower, where Xin Huan meets Advisor Wen and tells of his failure to kill Gen Zie. This clearly made Advisor Wen very disappointed in him, so Advisor Wen ordered Xin Huan to enter the God-destroying form so that the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder could immediately rise. Not long after, Gen Zie and Xin managed to sneak into the Star Tower to help Xin Huan. Unfortunately, the two of them were too late, because Xin Huan had turned into a demon for good. Finally, Gen Zie and Xin were forced to fight Xin Huan. In that fight, Xin Huan had also managed to grow wings on his back, a sign that the power of the Wings of Wind and Thunder had awakened in his body. Gen Zie and Xin were powerless against Xin Huan, and when Xin Huan was about to attack Xin, Gen Zie protected her and was stabbed by Xin Huan's spear. Xin managed to escape and reported the incident to Tao and Xin Zhang, so they returned to the Star Tower with the portal gate to save Gen Zie. Meanwhile, Xin Huan finally realized that all this time, Advisor Wen had only deceived him, and when the power of the Wing of Wind and Thunder was being absorbed by Advisor Wen, Xin Huan again saw the illusion of the perpetrator who destroyed and killed the Bird Clan people. The culprit turned out to be Advisor Wen himself, not Xin Zhang. Not long after, Tao, Xin, and Gen Zie also came and immediately saved Xin Huan, but they were too late because the God Destroyer form had been successfully opened by Advisor Wen. Finally, the four of them came out of the Star Tower to fight against Advisor Wen and his soldiers. In the middle of the battle, Xing saw Gen Zie about to be stabbed, so Xing immediately ran to protect Gen Zie and sacrificed herself. Seeing this, Gen Zie was furious and immediately killed Advisor Wen and his soldiers with the power of his golden stick. Tao who realized that the situation was getting worse because the God Destroyer form was getting wider, then asked Gen Zie and Xin Huan to stop the God Destroyer form immediately. Xin Huan also took Gen Zie flying, and when they reached the sky, Xin Huan who finally realized his mistake, returned the power of Wing of Wind and Thunder to Gen Zie. Then after Xin Huan had lost his strength, he fell down and finally died because he was struck by the fire of the God Destroyer form. This clearly made Gen Zie very devastated and finally made him use the Golden Dragon Fruit. Gen Zie also managed to stop the God Destroyer form and make Advisor Wen and the Shan Dynasty disappear along with the meteors that fell due to the destruction of the God Destroyer form. Meanwhile, Gen Zie has finally turned into the perfect manifestation of General Singh, signaling the change of the dynasty and making China back to being peaceful as before, and the film ends. The moral message that we can learn is not to easily believe what other people say before there is solid evidence.